Hey y'all and good morning. I just ended yesterday's vlog. I don't know why I forgot to end it last night because I had every intention of doing so. And then again, I may see the replay back and go, <laughs> you, did, you did end it, Lisa. You did. So, I'll show you what I'm wearing today. This top here is approximately a thousand years old. I've had it for forever, you guys. I don't even know. I don't even know how old it is. I really don't. So, this is the top maxi skirt. It's not Monday. I should have worn this on a Monday, and then I could have posted it and said, hashtag maxi skirt Monday. I was going to recap yesterday's absolutely wonderful anniversary date situation time whatever so yesterday was our 20th anniversary we did not plan anything big we probably should have i guess actually who says we had to nobody so we were like should we go out to eat honey um i didn't get him anything he got me a card i didn't even get him a card because i'm horrible at that but um so we ended up not going anywhere like special so we decided to just make, I'd gotten a box, a shipment from every plate. And it's kind of like a, one of those like, I don't know what other companies like, Fresh Kitchen, Hello Fresh, Blue Kitchen, Blue Apron, something like that. There's like, I don't know. There's other companies that do the same or similar thing. So it's just, a, they, they ship you some meals and then you, make the meal at the at at the house at your house at somebody's house in a kitchen you make a meal in a kitchen so we chose to make last night soy glazed chicken and let me tell you guys it was good now mine didn't turn out if you saw my vlog yesterday you'll know mine didn't exactly turn out just like in the picture but the carrots were actually good i don't like cooked carrots y'all like, I will eat them in stew or something or in a soup, but not really my favorite. I'd rather have them raw. And as it turns out, I like them the way that I prepared them yesterday. So I'm going to do that again. The soy glazed part had a lot of sugar in it, I'll be honest. But uh, it was tasty. It sure was tasty and the rice was fine it's jasmine rice and um yeah it was it would and it was i wouldn't even say it was easy to make though okay let's be honest shall we i do like the concept of getting your meals like that and preparing them but it definitely was not or at least maybe my skill level i don't know wasn't really a hey um let's let's do that again like every night because it took it took a while and it wasn't like you know like that they said oh 10 minute prep it took more than 10 minutes with two of us doing it and like i said we're not chefs and we're not like super skilled in the kitchen but you know whatever but we had a lot of fun doing it we had a lot of fun prepping it together and we we're laughing and just talking about stuff in life and so it was really a perfect meal and it was tasty too so i'll probably be recreating that recipe sometime soon um like i said it did take a while uh to to cook but uh yeah we we enjoyed it a lot so if you haven't tried every plate i recommend it i think it's pretty good the next we have two more meals left to prepare we have stuffed meatloaves and creamy chicken bake I think is the other one so I'm looking forward to trying those and yeah seeing how they turn out it'll be it'll be fun but I can't think of anything else that oh today I have a real luncheon to go to so that'll be fun and I also have a graduation to go to tonight and the graduation graduation the graduation is for a family member um two nephews so um that'll be fun but it'll just make it a little bit of a late night but i don't really have anything planned in the morning so that'll be fun i'm gonna go get a hot chocolate now and i'll see you guys in a bit hey y'all and welcome to hot chocolate chat today i'm drinking a hot chocolate from starbucks looks like it's gonna rain today and i don't have a 
umbrella. I just wasted a good five minutes playing with those silly Snapchat filters. Not really silly. It was kind of fun. But I want to know, do you guys check the weather before you start your day? Like, is that a thing for you? I do not. My version of checking the weather is, hey, Marvin, is it going to rain today? I don't really sound like that, though. I look really tired today. But I honestly do just I say, hey, Marvin, is it going to rain today? Is it going to be hot today? Is it going to be cold today? Like, I'm not perfectly capable of checking the weather app on my own. But he, well, I don't know that he checks the weather map, but he looks at the paper. And we have similar weather today as the other day when I had the migraine, but I don't have a migraine today. So that's, that's awesome. But my eyes are watering ridiculously. Like, calm down. But let me know what you guys do. Leave me a comment. Um, send me a DM. Mail me something. Something. I mean, I just, I'm just curious. Like, do you check the weather? Um, or does like, is it a certain age? Like after you pass a certain age, then it's like after you hit 23, then you start checking the weather. 23 doesn't seem like old enough to be checking the weather though. Like maybe, I don't know, 27 or 28. Then you start checking the weather, like being concerned about the weather. I know at 51, almost 52 on Monday, I am concerned about the weather. That's what I wanted to talk about today. Do you check the weather? How old are you when, how old were you when you started checking the weather? Let me know. If you want to follow me on Snapchat, it's Side of Awesome, and on Instagram, and YouTube, and Words with Friends, and Pokemon Go, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. I'm at work, and I had all these um, plans. <laughs> getting all the stuff done and so far it's been awesome because I think I've gotten zero percent done <laughs> so that's not true I pushed two papers into another area so I've gotten 0.02 percent done I don't know but I'm gonna try to plow through this because I'm gonna have to leave in like four hours and uh, get ready to go to that graduation ceremony so um, lunch was fine but now I gotta get back to work we are at Keaton and Ryan's graduation. I've got my main squeeze right here. Just waiting for it to start. And yeah, it should be a quick one. Because normally when we come to a graduation, we're coming to like speed high school or something like that. A lot of kids. But this one doesn't have as many kids graduating. Yes. I don't know how I don't know how many normally graduate in the speed, but it doesn't look like that many seats. So snuck out a little bit early to hit up the restroom. 20 till 9. 20 till 9. And we're hungry. But it was a good, good event. But I also had to go to the bathroom really bad. Hey y'all, it's time for bed. But I have to take off my makeup and I just started going through the Rubbermaid Brilliance box that I got from Rubbermaid because I'm doing a post by them, a sponsored post. Y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I opened it up and I saw I'm scratching the furniture. I saw this little tiny and I thought no. No. No, but a little tiny one, you guys, you know, you know, I love little tiny, <laughs> y'all, um, just, it's so cute, I love it, Marvin, I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. I don't have any clue, but I know I'm gonna put pasta in this one, the spaghetti, and I cannot wait. I have another one that fits cereal. I'm super excited about that. I've got another one that I could put 
chips in. I'm super excited about that. So I'm gonna be taking photos in the morning. I'm gonna write up my little blog post and my little Instagram post and get that turned in because it's due tomorrow. Um, so I have to have it in by end of business day. But in the morning, I have got to go and get, should I do my hair like this tomorrow? Because I'm getting my, my driver's license renewed and I have to get a new picture. What? And I hadn't, I didn't lose 50 pounds before I had to take the picture. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Life goes on. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. It is 11.50, it's almost midnight. It's almost the next day. And we went to graduation tonight. I had to deal with some stuff with wing moms today, but it's okay, it all worked out. I'm so excited about it. I, okay, I really, truthfully, I know influencers say this all the time, but I really do love the Rubbermaid Brilliance. I think it looks sleek, I think it looks classic. I love it, I don't think it's just gonna be trendy. I think it's just gonna really look super, super nice in my pantry. In fact, I already have it in my pantry. I already have some pieces. And I was gonna buy the spaghetti one, but then Rubbermaid reached out and said, hey, do you wanna do a post and do a giveaway? Yes, there's a giveaway coming. And they said, do you wanna do a giveaway? And I was like, sure. I mean, like, why would I say no, right? And so, it came with a spaghetti one. I'm so excited. I am so excited. But I need to get to bed because I have to get my driver's license renewed tomorrow and I need to do the Rubbermaid post. Those are the two main things that I need to get done. And then I'm off until Tuesday. I'm not gonna go to work on Monday at all. I'll work on stuff, but I'm just gonna work from home. And uh, I'm always working on other stuff from home, but I can't wait to put my to put more of my stuff and organize more of my pantry. I just love that. It just makes me feel like, ah, like that's organized, yes. Also, I have some Adirondack chairs out front that I got for my birthday. They're plastic and my dad made me some real ones out of wood. So I'm gonna see, hopefully it's warm enough this weekend that Marvin can paint those and paint my bookcase. So I can get that put back into my office and get my office organized so I can do my work from there because that's why I have an office. Should I put my hair up in a bun for the picture, for my driver's license picture? See, and I didn't color my hair either. Ugh. Also, speaking of coloring my hair, don't fight guys, please. Speaking of coloring my hair, I kind of want to do it myself only because I really need to get it touched up. Can y'all see? It needs touching up already. And um, I can't, it's hard for me to justify and afford to go every three weeks, but I'm just getting one single color, that's all I get. And I just thought, I could, I'm not a professional, but maybe I could do it at home and just go to my, my favorite hairstylist like once every six months or so I don't know I don't know oh, I hate to stop going to her because I really do enjoy our visits and I enjoy talking with her so I don't know what I'm gonna do so y'all be thinking about that if you've got any thoughts or comments let me know drop me a comment and I will definitely read it and circle back with you guys but I'm gonna go to bed so don't forget be kind to others and I'll see you tomorrow bye